Something big. The Crimson Ghost will give you the dope himself. I sent for you, Ash, because tomorrow is the day for which I've been waiting, for which my carefully prepared plans have been laid. Tomorrow morning at the university, Professor Chambers will demonstrate his cyclotron a device which is designed to detect and repel any atomic bomb attack. Now, he intends to turn his invention over to the government, but I shall seize the machine before he has a chance to make this patriotic gesture. Unless you intend to sell the machine to a foreign government, I don't see why you want it. Because in my hands, the cyclotrode will become the most powerful offensive weapon in the world. It will instantly stop any electrically controlled mechanism destroy lighting and power systems, paralyze the activities of the police. The resulting panic and terror will leave the city open to unlimited blackmail and extortion. How are you going to get this machine? That should not be difficult. The demonstration is taking place before the scientific members of the university faculty. And since I am one of its professors, naturally I shall be present. <laughs> understand, gentlemen, that this model of my cyclotrode has a comparatively short range. But a full-size machine will have a range of hundreds of miles and will be able to locate and destroy any atomic bomb or similar device long before it reaches an effective striking position. I need hardly tell you that this is a confidential demonstration and that no word of what you see or hear must go beyond this room. Professor Chambers, do you mind explaining just how this power is generated? I'm afraid I haven't the right to do that, Anderson, even among my trusted colleagues. It's three o'clock, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I will contact Professor Richards, my assistant and collaborator in this invention. Duncan Richards? I thought he went in for scientific crime detection. Well, that's true. He is the criminologist responsible for protecting the secrets of government atomic research. But he is also one of the outstanding physicists in the country. You understand, I have no idea from what location he will launch the model airplane. Calling Duncan Richards. Calling Duncan Richards. Yes, Professor Chambers? We are ready. You may launch the plane. At what, sir? plane. Watch the dial. It's approaching from the northwest. Elevation 1,200 feet. Now watch the screen. There's the plane. Look, it's doing stunts. That is an attempt to defeat the cyclotrode. But as you'll see, unsuccessful. Crucial moment, gentlemen. Watch the screen carefully. Let's get the plane. 
I have to get back to the university and make my report. Amazing change. Oh, it's comforting indeed. I haven't felt so safe since before the bomb fell on Hiroshima. Oh, you're very kind, gentlemen, but any honors must be equally shared with Professor Richards. Nice work, Chambers. Nice work. Uh, when do you plan starting work on the larger model? Well, after tomorrow, the whole thing will be in the hands of the government. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, Miss Farnsworth will summon you here again when Duncan returns. Oh, well, thanks. Sure, 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 Professor. Shall I transcribe these notes, Dr. Chambers? Yes, my dear, and I'll call you when Duncan arrives. I'd like to investigate the one. up later. I'm rather busy right now. This won't take much of your time. What's the meaning of this? It's all right, Professor. Hand me that box. We're taking it with us. Cyclotrode is useless now. Proceed with your murder. that easy, Professor. You built that machine and you can build another one for us. Come on. this riot, Richards? Who is this man? There were two men. They were after the cyclotrode. What is that thing on his neck? That's what I was wondering. He's coming around. Maybe he'll tell us what it is, as well as who sent him for the cyclotrode. Look, there's a skull on that thing. What's that? What have I done? I don't know. The man is dead. It's smashed. This is a major catastrophe. I smashed it myself to prevent their getting it. And it's not a catastrophe. There's a duplicate machine in the strong room at the bonded warehouse. It'll be safe there until the government calls for it. Oh, that's, that's marvelous, James. Chambers intercepted and taken to the underground workshop. Keep him there until I arrive. 
What is this place? Who owns it? The Crimson Ghost will be here soon. He'll answer your questions. personality, however, I am one of your select little group of scientists at the university. This has enabled me to follow more or less closely your work on the cyclotrode. <laughs> you cannot pierce my disguise, and this mask contains a microphone which distorts my voice. Listen, I must have possession of your duplicate cyclotrode at once. If you want to save your life... Don't threaten me. You know that machine was made for the government. And I won't turn traitor to save my life. Not voluntarily, perhaps. But I have means of obtaining the information. And even your help in taking the machine from the warehouse. Remember the man who died in the conference room? He wore a collar similar to this. Those who wear my collar relinquish their own willpower and become my slave. And I alone can remove the collar without causing your instant death. Nonsense. I will first inject a drug which will destroy your willpower. Soon, Professor. I understood you were leaving the case with us for some time. Uh, so did I. Change of plans. Introduce your companion. This is Mr. Sherman of the War Department. He'll take charge of the consignment. I see. Just signed here, Professor. Get Professor Chambers' case from the vault. He'll identify it for you. Chambers has disappeared. Disappeared? When? The police just phoned. They found his car abandoned on Dyke Road. It showed signs of a struggle. I can't understand it. They smashed the cyclotrode. The cyclotrode? They must have learned of the existence of the duplicate model. But that's safe in the bonded warehouse. It's not safe while they hold Chambers and can force him to get it for them. I'll have to warn the warehouse people not to release it to anyone. Duncan Richards speaking. The professor's here now to claim the case. But I thought he acted a little strange. There's a government man with him. Delay them on any pretext till I arrive. I'll be there in about five minutes. Chambers is at the warehouse. Oh, 
One moment, Professor. I just had word of a mix-up in our strong room consignments. I can't let anything go out until we've checked. Well, we have nothing to do with your mix-up. I represent the government, and this is government business. I presume you have your credentials. Why, of course. Here they are. All six of them. Get them out. You too. Get inside. Unlock that door. Now get in there, both of you. Duncan Richards. Follow me. What's up, Chambers?
sufficient power to stop that car that's following us. which he calls a cyclotron. He invented this machine for defense against atomic bomb plants. But the machine will also destroy any type of electrical equipment within its range. And in criminal hands could be used to threaten and blackmail every industry in the country. It would also be invaluable to an enemy power. Isn't it possible that Professor Chambers could have succumbed to the temptation of easy money and sold it to a foreign government? Nonsense, Anderson. Let's hear no more of that. The cyclotrode is gone. Chambers is in the hands of a ruthless gang of cutthroats. He must be found. How? I don't know. Duncan is an experienced criminologist. He's handled a number of such cases for the government. I suggest we delegate him to take complete charge. I agree. That's a good suggestion. Then it's up to you, my boy. And good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. in charge of the investigation. Then we have nothing to worry about. Don't underestimate him. Did you check the range and effectiveness of the cyclotrode? I did. It's definitely limited to a narrow band over a short range. Hmm. Then I shall have to restore Chambers to his normal mind and force him to build a cyclotrode of unlimited power. cyclotrode for you. And you did. Why? And now you're going to build a larger cyclotrode with power enough to paralyze any industry in the country which refuses to pay me tribute. Not if my life depends on it. There are worse things than dying, Professor. Unless you agree in just one minute, I will inject a more powerful drug into your veins which will entirely destroy your mind leaving you a hopeless idiot for the rest of your life. Decide, Professor. I agree. <laughs> I thought that you would. Make out a list of the materials needed. probably have everything here I need to build an adapter to raise the power of the cyclotrode. Except an X7 transformer tube. Where can we get one? 
in the laboratory vault of the university. Ash, get one of the men and... What can I do for you, gentlemen? We're here on an errand for Professor Chambers. Professor Chambers? Where is he? Well, he's building a larger cyclotrode and sent us for the X7 transformer tube. Come on, sister. We know it's in the vault. Get it. something he took out of the vault. Did you see what it was? No, but he said Professor Chambers was building a larger cyclotrode and he wanted the X7 tube. The X7 tube? You know, Professor Chambers tricked them. The X7 tube is no part of the cyclotrode, but a special radium vapor tube we've been developing for a death ray machine. What do you suppose he wanted with that? My guess is that Professor Chambers will set up a death ray machine to attempt to kill the men who are holding him prisoner. Why, that tube is so highly radioactive that... Say, I'm missing a bet. What? The radium detective. With this radium detector, we can follow the X7 tube wherever it's taken. That'll surely lead us to Professor Chambers and probably the Crimson Ghost. Turn right at the next corner. How are you coming? This is all I need to complete the job. And you're ready to demonstrate it to the Crimson Ghost? Bring him and the cyclotrode over, and I'll show him something he'll never forget. Okay, I'll bring him over. I'll be ready when you return. close. Let's go the rest of the way on foot. You better take this. Give me that wrench there, will you? Sure.
It's in there. Stay here in case anyone comes back. All about it. We're lucky to be alive, Ash. I don't get it. Professor Chambers very cleverly set a high voltage trap for us to walk into when we returned with the cyclotrode. Duncan got there ahead of us, however, and Chambers was killed trying to save him. 
Lucky for us. That throws a monkey wrench into all of your plans. We need a delay. But I can build a larger cyclotrope without the aid of its inventor by copying the model we now have. However, it will take longer and I'll need a lot of money. That's easy. We'll crack a bank. It's much simpler than that, Ash. We still have Chambers' machine, and within its range, it can stop any motor. Tomorrow morning, an armored car will deliver the payroll to the Steel Corporation. Here it comes. Haywire. Stay in guard while I check the motor. Turn on the automatic alarm before he passed out. Never mind. You and Carson get the money. I'll take care of the police. Okay. That signal's coming from behind us. Must be that armored car that just passed. the armored car holdup. Police are unable to explain what stopped their cars and burned out the electrical system. Gentlemen, there is no doubt that Professor Chambers' cyclotrode was used to carry out this robbery. You're probably right. But what steps do you plan to take to prevent more outrages? I've already taken one. As you know, heavy water is the key to the operation of the cyclotrode. The supply in the tubes must be almost exhausted by now. And I suppose the Crimson Ghost can't get any heavy water. Exactly. The compound is made only by the Cornwall Chemical Company, and they won't release a drop without my authorization. That's certainly an effective step. But it may be dangerous for you. You're up against a ruthless enemy who'll stop at nothing. I realize that, Professor Parker, and I'm taking every possible precaution. I'm glad to hear that. Shall we adjourn, gentlemen? Right. I certainly. Who's there? Professor Richards, you think you have stopped me from getting the heavy water, but you shall soon know how unwise it is to stand in the way of the crimson ghost. You will be...
put him on the table. Professor Richards thought he could prevent my getting the heavy water. He'll change his mind about that. Yes. As soon as I put the collar on him, he will take orders from me. And get the heavy water for you personally. Strap him on. face close to the floor so that I escaped most of the fumes. I had an idea I might be brought to the Crimson Ghost. Now, the police can take over from here.
killed? No. With his usual luck, he escaped. We've lost our chance to get the heavy water. Only temporarily. When we meet in conference tomorrow morning, we will discuss this affair thoroughly. I will attempt to learn what Richard has in mind and find some other way to secure the heavy water. The Crimson Ghost is still at large, but at least I prevented him from obtaining a supply of heavy water with which to operate the cyclotron. That's very fortunate. In criminal hands, the cyclotron would be a terrible weapon capable of paralyzing the industry of the entire country. Yes, but the Crimson Ghost still has a cyclotron. We have no idea as to his identity. Have you any plans? None that look very promising, but I did receive an anonymous phone call asking me to pick up a message about the Crimson Ghost this afternoon. Oh. <clears throat> well, are you going to do it? Why, yes, of course. Gentlemen, that's all the information I have for now. Well, well, at least that's a lead work on Diana, I'd like you to drive me. Certainly, Professor. Whenever you're ready. What's this all about? Just a little scheme to prove my theory that information about my plans and movements leaks from the conference room and reaches the Crimson Ghost. I've planted an envelope up in the hills. We're going out to get it. I'm hoping some of the ghost crowd will get the news and try to follow us. So that's it. Let's go. Okay, follow me. Right. The car we just passed is trailing us. Make the next left turn and head for Pelton Road. and cover me in case they try to rush us. Okay. We've got to get that letter. I'll run him down and you grab it. Right. Our trip here was useless. Oh, no. We've definitely proved that the Crimson Ghost gets his information through some leak in the conference room. Which doesn't help unless you can find a leak. I think I can. After everyone leaves tonight, meet me in the conference room and I'll show you. Will you get the car?
and so I decided the only place to keep the heavy water was right here in our own vault. This bottle contains the entire supply from the chemical house. No one will think of looking for it here. And besides, only members of our own group know the combination of the safe. Time's up, Anderson. So, you're the mysterious Crimson Ghost. Kill him, Anderson. You're on. Well, what are you waiting for? and ghost. It's Ash. He got the heavy water.
Wait for me. Here he comes. me through a peephole and talking into this speaker, which made his voice come from the skull. Did you find any fingerprints on the speaker? No, but the condenser in this device is a new and powerful type, manufactured only by the Brandon Electric Company. I phoned them and found that they'd sold several of these condensers to radio shops in this area. I have the list over here. Oh, quite a number. Yes, but I'm going to check in every one of them and see if I can find the man who built this. If I do, he might give me a lead to the Crimson Ghost. Professor Anderson's death is regrettable. He would have been a great help to us. Yeah, I wish it had been Richards. He's got more lies than a flock of cats. There's one compensating factor, however. We have the heavy water and can go ahead with our plans to build the larger sacred throne. The bottle you got wasn't heavy water. This is just plain ordinary water. Of all the double crossing... We've been tricked by cleverness. Something to be admired even in an enemy. But not too much. This means that the heavy water is still at Cornwall's chemical company. We'll get it tonight. Sure. All we have to do is to get through a steel fence that's charged with high voltage electricity. And then open a burglar proof vault. I know that place. I saw it. The sacred road will neutralize the steel fence. And Pete Snyder is making an electric stethoscope that magnifies the sound of falling tumblers several hundred times. With it, a novice could open the safe. Well, that's better. Now, as soon as it's dark, I want you to go to Snyder's. Should be okay now. I'll try it out. they've made. Too bad you'll never get a chance to use it. Smash that gadget.
get him in the chair. Put the stethoscope in the case while I tie him up. I'll be back for him as soon as we get the heavy water. Keep that up. If you get loose, I'll have the pleasure of shooting you. Mind if I have a cigarette? Not at all. Go ahead. There's a case in my breast pocket. Well, as long as you're going to phrase him, we might as well both have one. the electric stethoscope. Good. Now I'll neutralize the high voltage in the fence. Worked perfectly. Why, of course. Now when you get the heavy water, take it to coal. He has a plane waiting at Gopher Flats wire the stuff to the mountain hideout. We'll store it there until we're ready to use it. Okay, go ahead. I'll stand guard out here. Right. was a cinch to open with this gadget. You know, with that electric stethoscope and our cyclotrode, we ought to be able to crack any safe in the country.
take off in a hurry. chance in the world to save the heavy water. Which means we must construct a plant to make our own heavy water. And one of the basic ingredients in its manufacture is refined uranium. Uranium? That's refined under strict government control. It is. But nothing stands in the way of the crimson ghost. Maine is finishing the device which will take care of that. One more connection and it's ready. It's an electric fuse bomb. Pretty slick job. What's the layout? truckload of uranium guarded by an armed escort to the Federal Atomic Plant by the Owl Creek Bridge. That's near our mountain hideout. Which will simplify things. Now you plant the bomb on the bridge and use the cyclotron to set it off at a distance as soon as the escort gets onto the bridge. Now stand by your radio and I'll call you if anything develops at the conference. I hope I'm not too late. One of my students detained me with a complex engineering problem. That's all right, Professor Van Wyck. You are just in time to see a piece of evidence that came out of the ashes of the plane wreck. This I found in the dead pilot's notebook. Lights, please, Diana. This is a map of the Fernando Hill section northwest of Kimball. Uh, lights, Diana was evidently the pilot's guide to a landing strip somewhere in those hills. I've checked with Federal Airways, and there's no record of a landing field within 100 miles of that spot. Well, that takes you right back where you started. Not quite. I'm convinced that the Crimson Ghost has secretly built an airstrip there to throw us off his trail. I'm going to survey the area by plane this afternoon. If there's nothing further, gentlemen, I'll report my findings at our next meeting. Very well. Good afternoon, Duncan.
Calling Ash. Calling Ash. Ash talking, go ahead. Professor Richards is going to survey the landing strip area by plane. This may bring him close to your location. If his plane discovers your truck, you may have to use the cyclotrode to bring it down. Right. If any plane shows up, we'll take care of it. Hark! Set this up on the bridge and come back as soon as you're through. It's all set. Go ahead. Okay. Lend me a hand. You've got a job to do on a plane. Diana calling Duncan. Diana calling Duncan. Go ahead, Diana. All set. And flying toward the area indicated on the map. Any further instructions? Just keep cruising around. If you spot anything that looks suspicious, give me the location and I'll follow through in the car. All right. That plane's headed this way. Yeah. Looks like you've come too close to us. He spotted us all right. We'll have to knock him down. Calling Duncan. Calling Duncan. Come in, Diana. There's a truck right below me and it looks like... Diana. Diana, what happened? near the clearing. Come on. you dropped in, you might as well stay for a while. That uranium truck's almost due at the bridge. Lock her up in the car, and I'll pick you up as soon as we're finished with the truck. Come on.
Lincoln, the truck I told you about, has a cyclotrode on it. They used it to crash my plane, and I heard Ash say something about a truckload of uranium due at the bridge. Uranium? Bridge? There's only one bridge around here, Owl Creek. That leads to the Federal Atomic Plant. Then they must be planning to wreck the truckload of uranium at the bridge. I saw Ash head back up the hill to his truck. Come on. You grab my car. It's at the end of the road. Warn the truck. I'll take care of Ash. the bridge and finish the cops and the truck of easy pickings. Okay, Ash. You, put your hands up. Come on, get them up. Higher. All right, Ash, turn off that cyclotron. You've played with it long enough.
short-circuited, so I knew I was within range of the cyclotrode. I jumped before the bridge exploded. Smart girl. But that happened hours ago. Why didn't you call? I... Helen, you were dazed and don't remember. I was dazed. I... I, I don't remember anything until I came to about an hour ago. There's nothing to worry about now. Nothing except the crimson ghost in the cyclotrode. Fortunately, there's a way to nullify the power of the cyclotrode. There is? Tell me about it, Duncan. Six months ago, Professor Chambers and I developed a special isotron device to counteract the power of the cyclotrode in case it got in the wrong hands. Why haven't you used it before? I had to wait until a special prism was completed. Ask him how it works. How does it work? Well, it's uh, charged by these generators. The electrical impulses pass through a prism. That turns the power of the cyclotrope back upon itself and destroys it. I can see how important the prism is. Yes, I couldn't get it any sooner. It took six months to grind it. They called this morning and said it was ready. Will you file these? I'll step in and tell the professors you're okay. Then I'm going over to the optical company and pick up the prism. You're covered. I'll take this prism, and you'll take the turns as I call them.
crimson ghost's attempt to steal this prism proves that he realizes that this machine will make the cyclotrode useless. He'll do everything in his power to stop me from completing it. It requires a terrific voltage to charge the prism, so I'll have to run the generators at full capacity. Be uh, careful not to stand near any of the connections. I'll give it a going over with this.
Mercy Hospital at once, please. Mercy Hospital? Duncan Richards speaking. Sends an ambulance to the chemical building at the university. At once, please. What happened? Is she dead? No. But Richards must have struck or drugged her. Then she'll escape. No one escapes my control collar. Any attempt to remove it will result in her instant death. But Richards knows that. Why the hospital? He means to try something. Just what it is, I'll learn when we meet in conference tomorrow morning. Diana is at Mercy Hospital in a critical condition. She appears to be under the influence of some powerful drug. Dr. Gage is preparing a serum which he hopes will restore her to normal. In other words, the doctor has a theory. He thinks and he hopes, but as a matter of fact, there's no real evidence the girl's condition is the result of a drug. There is certainly evidence that her will was under the control of some remote force. Her day's behavior was similar to that of Professor Chambers when he went to the bonded warehouse to get the cyclotron. He refused to talk. He acted as though he were in a trance. What's up, Chambers? Chambers, bring me the cyclotron. any farther, and the Crimson Ghost escaped. Certainly you did all that could be done to save Chambers' life. And to recover the cyclotrode. Have you any reason to believe the girl will be mentally sound after this poisonous drug has been removed from her bloodstream? Well, obviously, Professor Chambers, although he still wore the control collar, had been freed of the drug. He was sane enough to get the X7 radio tube into the hands of his jailers, and I was able to trace it. Turn right at the next corner. Here you are. How are you coming? This is all I need to complete the job. And you're ready to demonstrate it to the Crimson Ghost? Bring him and the cyclotrode over, and I'll show him something he'll never forget. Okay, I'll bring him over. I'll be ready when you return. We're getting close. Let's go the rest of the way on foot. better take this.
Give me that wrench there, will you? Sure. in case anyone comes back. for the Crimson Ghost, but lost his own life in saving mine. And presuming that you are successful in counteracting the drug, just how do you propose to take off Diana's control collar? She'll be brought to my laboratory, where I've set up a powerful magnetic field. I hope to demagnetize the collar and clip it off. You're taking a desperate chance. I realize that, but Dr. Gage and a nurse will be there to assist me. We'll attempt to remove the collar at 8 o'clock tonight. Gage is late. Yes, sir. He telephoned he's been delayed. He'll be here shortly. What will you do with this thing? Just sit it on and hold it. I'll put this extension near the collar. The dial will show when it's free of the electrical charge. Think I can put it over? Why, of course. You're the right size and build. The mask will disguise your voice. Don't worry about the real Dr. Gage. He's been taken care of. Carl will be waiting for you in the getaway car behind the gymnasium. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Gage. Sorry to be late. Oh, that's all right. The machine is ready. Uh, will you look at the patient? Temperature and pulse normal. You may proceed. All right, Doctor. Oh, uh, wouldn't you be more comfortable without that mask? It isn't necessary in this case, you know. Probably not. Uh, <clears throat> I have a slight cold. Don't want to take any chances. Oh, I see. Then we'll go ahead. Now, it's highly important that once I start this machine, that a steady flow of electricity be maintained. Any stopping or slowing up the current might prove to be fatal.
Now, it's highly important that once I start this machine, that a steady flow of electricity be maintained. Any stopping or slowing of the current might prove to be fatal. Dial, nurse. This is a critical moment. Are you insinuating I'm that I... I'm insinuating nothing. I'm asking you. And I am answering you. Why, well, that's not Dr. Gage. Call the university guards at once. You're all right now. Who's that? That's Ash. When we question him in the morning, I think we'll find out something about the Crimson Ghost. to be making progress, Dave. Yes, sir. Without uranium, I was forced to devise a new and much slower process. But we'll soon have enough heavy water for any purpose. Good. We'll need a lot of it when the larger cyclotron is completed and in operation. Where's Ash? I waited in the getaway car at the university. He didn't come out. Professor Richardson and the girl did and drove off. So I beat it. Which means Ash failed. And he's dead. For a prisoner. If he's alive, we must arrange for his escape. Come. Take over. Give me the keys to the cuffs. Sure. Nice work. Crimson Ghost promised me plenty for this. Don't worry, you'll get your dough. Down the back way, there's a car in the alley with a motor running. Okay. Hurry. What's going on here? Mr. Richards' punch is pretty hard, too. Thanks, boys. That'll be all. We thought you were going to trail him. I am. There's a television unit concealed in the back seat of the car Ash is driving. I can watch him from here. Gee, a cook ain't safe anywhere nowadays. You're just in time, Diana. No, uh, thanks again, boys. Any time, Professor. Now we'll do a little spying on Mr. Ash. Look. There he is. He's coming into focus now. Why, that's Oak Street. He's turning west. He's watching to see if he's being followed. Right. 
We'll wait until he thinks he's safe, and I hope he goes to their headquarters. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Van Wyck, but I won't be able to attend the meeting today. And why not? I see. All right, Duncan. What's wrong? It seems he captured one of the criminals and purposely let him escape. What? He's devised some means of trailing the crook. They expect to be able to follow him to the ghost headquarters. Well, I hope his scheme works. So do I. But Duncan hasn't been very successful so far. There's nothing to be done here. Good day, gentlemen. Manwick? Parker? circled the park twice to make sure he isn't followed. Yes, but he seems satisfied now. He's turning north on Crest Highway. I'll start. Keep in touch with me by radio. Road. Check. into a tunnel. Good. It must be their headquarters. Hold on until I get there. Right. be there and capture him, and Ash too. Experiment is a huge success. That'll be all the experimenting for today. I'm curious to know who you are. Take off that mask. Now we'll see who you are. Ash. So, it's a trick. You guessed correctly, my dear professor. Wrap it. And now...
It's going to blow. Get the heavy water plastic. and ghost escaped with the heavy water. An amazing tale, Richard. Right? Almost unbelievable, in fact. As I was trying to say, I can't understand what the crimson ghost would want all that heavy water for. Offhand, I'd think he might be planning to use it in a large-scale model of a cyclotron, one that could possibly paralyze an entire city. And there isn't a chance of finding your so-called crimson ghost or stopping him from carrying out his criminal plan. The picture isn't as black as that. You see, during the fight, one of the gloves was ripped from the ghost's hand, and he left his fingerprints all over the place. I thought the explosion destroyed everything in the cave. Sure, but it didn't shake any fingerprints loose from the wreckage. I see. Uh, then you're going to dust and photograph everything in the cave for fingerprints. Exactly. I've had the wreckage hauled over to the pier warehouse. It'll be easier for me to work on it there. I must confess, I still don't understand how this will uncover the Crimson Ghost. Gentlemen, I promise you that if a suspicion I have is correct, just one fingerprint is all I'll need to confirm it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get my equipment ready to move out to the warehouse.
Professor Richards has sent a truckload of wrecked equipment from the cave to the pier warehouse. That junk? What's he expect to do, reconstruct the scene of the crime? No, he intends to check it for fingerprints. That's impossible. He can't get any fingerprints out of that mess. I don't know what he can or can't do, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to the warehouse and destroy that evidence. In the meantime, you must stop Richards from getting there. I'll take care of him. are the only ones you confide in. Which is why I suspect that one of them is the Crimson Ghost, or closely associated with him. It seems incredible. I know, but it's the only lead I have. So now I'm trying to force the guilty one to show his hand. So that's why you told him about the fingerprints that don't exist. Right. That wreckage in the truck at the warehouse is just bait to draw out the Crimson Ghost. We can't, Duncan. It's stuck. Looks like the Crimson Ghost was pretty anxious to keep us from getting to that warehouse. We can still make it. We can? How? On foot. If we cut across the peninsula here, it's only about a half mile to the warehouse. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Not so fast. Well, Professor Van Wyck, or do you prefer being called the Crimson Ghost? Now, don't jump to any obvious conclusions, Richards. I only came here to save this evidence from... That's what I hoped would happen. I suspected that the guilty professor might show up here just for that purpose. You just listened to the reason I could explain everything. You'll explain, all right, but to the proper authorities. I'll be glad to. There's no use in trying to get anything through that stubborn head of yours. That's better. Now hop in there. Thanks to your friend Ash, we'll have to use this for transportation. Don't move. Drop your gun and put your hands up.
them out of here. Aren't you afraid now that Professor Van Wyck is dead? That Richard will suspect which one of the professors you are? Suspicion is one thing and getting proof is another. The important thing is to finish the cypher crude at once. still distrust me. This blindfolding is a nuisance. But quite necessary, Count Feta. Your success as an international agent has likewise been built upon complete distrust of your fellow man. When will this be ready for a demonstration? In a couple of days. Through the television screen, you will have the pleasure of seeing what happens when all the city's power and electricity has stopped. That'll cause a lot of accidents and death. Make the cops turn on the heat. The cool millions being paid to me by the foreign country Count Feta represents will justify the results. But there is one other condition. I must have the original plans of the cyclotrode so that I may be sure that no one else in this country ever attempts to build one. Young Richards has them, and he's the only one who knows where they are. However, I have a way of listening in on him now, and he may be enticed into dropping a hint as to where the plans may be. You won't think I'm curious if I ask you what's in the wire. It's from Dr. Fred A. Cushing, psychiatrist and specialist in criminal psychology. I'm going to let him have a talk with Professors Parker and Maxwell. Since the death of Professor Van Wyck, it's evident that one of the two is the Crimson Ghost. And do you think this Dr. Cushing will be able to find out which one's behind all this trouble? He'll be able to tell which one might be the criminal type. That'll give me a chance to concentrate on him and build up some evidence. It sounds like a good possibility. Yes, it is. I'll introduce Cushing as a government expert interested in the cyclotrode. We better hurry and have dinner. Cushing gets in tonight, the 7 o'clock plane, and he'll come directly here from the airport. I'm glad you mentioned eating because I'm starved. Oh, thank you, Professor. arrives tonight in the 7 o'clock plane. They'll come directly here from the airport. This is our opportunity to get those cyclotrode plans from Richards. This Dr. Cushing will have Richards complete confidence and be able to secure anything he asks for. So all we need to do is substitute our Dr. Blackton for him. Good evening. I'm Dr. Cushing. I'm looking for Professor Richard. Yes, he's expecting you. He'll be right back. May I take your things? Thank you. Won't you sit down? Blackton, make sure the control collar doesn't show. Did you have a nice trip, Doctor? Very pleasant, thank you.
Professor Richards, this is Dr. Cushing. How do you do, Doctor? How do you do, Richard? I'm sorry to be late. Oh, that's quite all right. The young lady here has made me feel right at home. I realize you can only spare a few days, Doctor, so we'll get right down to business. That's right, Richard. Now, as I understand it, you want me to talk to these two professors and subtly test them for paranoia or other criminal tendencies. Exactly. I thought I'd introduce you as a government expert interested in the cyclotron. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to have more than an amateur's knowledge of the cyclotron. Perhaps I could use its plans to study overnight. Why, yeah, certainly. But I'll have to send out for them. You see, since all this trouble started, I've been keeping my valuable papers in a safe at the apartment I rented secretly. Oh, Diana, will you get the plans for me? Of course. It's apartment 917, 806 Hill Street. There, I'll give you the combination to the safe. I'll be right back. Take a man and go to Richard's apartment at once. Get the plans from that girl when she opens the safe. Diana won't be long, Doctor. While we're waiting, I wonder, would you mind autographing my copy of your new book? Why, well, I'd be glad to. I hope you enjoy reading it. I'm sure I will. By the way, Doctor, I've often wondered whether your middle initial A stands for Albert, the same as mine. Why, I... Why, it does happen to be Albert. I happen to know that Dr. Cushing's middle name is Arden, and that he's left-handed as mentioned in an earlier book. You sign that autograph with your right hand. Well, I, uh... Don't alibi. Kill him. What's your game? Now, supposing you tell me where Cushing is and who you are. <laughs> See what you can tell me about the Crimson Ghost. I uh, take off the control collar. cyclotrode plans. I will not. I think you will. No. Now open it. No. Let me work a real rash. Go ahead. You better talk, sister.
find it in the alley. Let's get it. to give us a clue and no sign of the cyclotrope plans. Ash must have gotten them. Why do you suppose the Crimson Ghost wants those plans? After all, he has the cyclotrode. Maybe to check or verify some detail on the large model. But you don't even really know that he's building one. It's a pretty good guess. A criminal of his caliber wouldn't be satisfied with a small model. I wonder why Mrs. Malloy left this out here. What's the matter? It's a lot heavier than it should be. What is it? It's a wire recorder. Then someone's been picking this up and listening to everything we've said here. I'm afraid that's right. But now that we've found out about it, we ought to be able to turn the tables on them. How? We'll wipe off the conversation that's recorded here and substitute some information of our own. Then I'll bait the trap with some similar remarks at the meeting this afternoon. 
You place too little importance on the fact that the Crimson Ghost now has a cyclotrode plan and can build an enlarged machine. No, I've anticipated the building of a larger cyclotrode and have taken steps to meet and avert any attack that may be made with it. Taken what steps? I've constructed another isotron. The moment the cyclotrode begins to operate, my device will bend back its rays, destroying the machine and all who are near it. What assurance have you that your isotron will not be destroyed as the other one was? It's well hidden at my apartment and under guard. I'm going there now to make some final adjustments. Then, let the Crimson go strike if he dares. Duncan suspects that the Crimson Ghost is one of his associates at the university. So he told us a story about having an isotron that will turn back the cyclotrode's rays and destroy it. And you do not believe him? I'm sure his story is nothing more than a clumsy attempt to draw me into a trap. Mrs. Malloy just brought in the recorder. Good. Now we will hear the real plans of the great criminologist, Richard. But you didn't take Professors Parker and Maxwell into your confidence. Naturally not. I'm convinced that one of them is the Crimson Ghost. Then there really isn't an isotron. Oh, yes, there is. But not at my apartment. It's concealed in the wall cabinet in the main room of the University Storage Building. It's already in operation and will destroy the cyclotrode and its operators, just as I warned them. So, he's a fool, is he, this Duncan Richards? It is you he makes the fool. Silent. Get that isotron and bring it here immediately. I will not start the demonstration until it's in my hands. Trapper scent. The dog will follow it anywhere.
imitation of the isotron. Why, it's useless. It... Richards has devised some means of trailing you. Not a chance. Nobody saw me leave there or arrive. We can't be sure of that. Go outside and stand guard. Bean, start the psychotron. on the cycle throat. Here, Timmy. Let's go. Now watch that plane. Easy victim for our little monster here. tide of panic and disaster. Why, the power is irresistible. Nothing can stop it. That stopped it, my ghostly friend. Get your hands up. Let's have a look at his ugly face. After weeks of following blind trails, it finally became evident that the Crimson Ghost must be a member of the faculty here at the university. But then I found the wire recorder and forced a move that brought me face to face with the Crimson Ghost. Take him away, Inspector. Come on. <laughs> 